Hi, it's Colette. Welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're a new person, please subscribe and stay. And um, if you're a goldie oldie, pleasure to see you and connect with you again. And thank you all for your support. Right, uh, I have done a video on um, how to remember your dreams. And that's a prerequisite to the one I'm doing now, which is how to use your dreams to show you your past lives. <laughs> But you have to be able to, one, have a good sleep hygiene and two, have mastered the technique of the memory bridge, which is in the video on how to remember your dreams, which I'll link down in the description box or if I can manage a card up here, we'll do it. So um, take a wee look at that video and um, see what you make of it. And then, uh, you know, if you, if you do have, uh, if you can remember your dreams, then you can start with this straight away. But most people need a wee bit more of a technique to be able to do this. So it, you've got to be disciplined for it. It doesn't work all the time. Um, but it's really, if you want to remember your past lives, you can go to um, a past life therapist, uh, which can be um, a hypnotist that will hypnotize you into your past lives. Or you can have the likes of the past life readings I used to do were more me journeying for you to view your past lives and then backing them up with the tarot. Um, or you can try and get information yourself uh, through your own sixth sense and the best way to access them in that way is in dream time, in your dreams. So what do you need to do? Right, first of all, you have to set the intent every step. You're sitting, maybe I've done a meditation and said some prayers and asked whoever you pray to um, if they, they would honour you with uh, you being able to have information from your dreams about any relevant past lives to this moment or to this six months period or to the year ahead. Um, most people have had quite a few past lives. You don't want to just be seeing random ones. Um, I mean, that can be quite nice. It's like your, your own YouTube in your head, but... Um, the way I see past lives is we should really just know about the ones that are pertinent to what we're going through at the moment in life, that are pertinent to things we need to know and understand. So ask, prayer, set the intent, this is what you would want to do. Um, then I would suggest that you get your room set up so that you have access to a nightlight and um, you can have sort of water and a notebook and pen or even you know if you if you have a notebook uh, uh or your your laptop uh, just don't keep electronic things running um make sure that they're all shut down before you go into dream time so i, I like a notepad because the things about dream, the past life dreams you need to remember um are very much about bullet points and then you can expand on them through meditation so once you're set up, uh, you've got your sleep patterns organised, you've done the, the technique to remember your dreams, all that is left is the asking of spirit um, or your deity or the universe to give you the answers that you need in your dreams from your past lives that are pertinent or relevant to a problem, an issue or a time in your life which is now or very much the next six months or so. Um, then, um, I, I always like to be very, um, it's like clean and moisturised before I go to bed when I'm dreaming. Uh, it, it's almost like I would prepare for a ritual. You know, if I was doing a ritual, I'd make sure I was very clean, that um, I had, you know, had my nice perfume on, that I was honouring uh, whatever deity I was doing the ritual to. Uh, so when I'm wanting to dream past lives, I'm 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 not just throwing myself into bed. If you know what I mean, I'm 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 ritualizing the bedtime and the sleeping procedure, uh, and that can take a few times. And then off you go, and you should hopefully go into your your first cycle of uh, deep sleep or REM sleep. Um, and again, I'm not going to go over the technique of the last video, just look at that. 
but when you do waking up you should have either pictures or words um, sometimes the first time it's just a sense of maybe a place uh, so what if you just got a sense of a place in someone else well the next night you do the same thing and you ask again you set the intent and you go back in and that night if you're lucky you'll still be within the same um, the same past life and you might pick up that that's a person there that I connect with in this life you might hear a language um, now normally when you're viewing a past life um, you're actually viewing it rather than being in it and living it you, you, you actually are almost dreaming it so you, you can actually see yourself in it but sometimes you, you can become yourself but it's more likely that the way that you're doing this in dream time that you'll feel as though you're viewing it um, and then you bring back that extra wee bit of information and then you bring back that wee bit of information and you continue with that until say maybe after three, four, five nights you stop dreaming of that past life. Now by that time you should have a, a little bit of an inkling of where, why, what happened and sometimes you can be shown traumatic things so again it's worthwhile maybe saying to your guides or when you're saying your prayer um if you can't tolerate seeing anything negative uh, to ask them only to show you what they know that you can cope with uh, just in case they see you you know being drowned or you know being on the titanic or something or you know but mostly lives are just normal lives the problem is that most spiritual people that do this will have had a lot of past lives and a lot of them will have been quite traumatic in many ways so um but again ask your guides just to show you what you can handle now at that stage you should have a feeling a knowledge or something of that past life but you might be frustrated because you're not kind of um you're not pinning it down now that's when a pendulum divination um or the tarot uh can be very very good on top um as i say i would take the information i gleaned for a person's past life all written down scribbles here scribbles there and i'd be like they right, i feel that that person I viewed was such and such and I'd ask my tarot deck was that the person and I'd have their date of birth this life and if their court card representing them come out that way it would be a yes yes that is that person okay that's so and so um if I feel there was a trauma there uh, and it's a trauma that affected me I might say could you show me this in the tarot card and I might get the ten of swords the ten uh you know the the tower card out and that will add on that this trauma was for you know the, the person or me if I was doing it for myself um so the way I would complete a past life um connection and understanding is to after i've got the dream time stuff i would then use a form of divination to try and figure out who's who and if this is what i think it was and blah 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 so it's good to have another uh, divination tool maybe a pendulum you could say you know um this person i viewed was that me yes no you know well was it my partner yes you know use a form of divination on the information that you've gleaned through um dream time and you will be very very amazed at the picture that you can put together between the two of them now my past life karmic readings have been very 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 uh, popular over the years when i did my readings and i thoroughly enjoyed them but they were exhausting because i would be dreaming um a life say over four or five nights and then using the tarot to match it all up to all the people that they'd given me their dates of birth with and then i used to do five lives so that would be five times six nights blah blah, blah. and it was exhausting but i never felt i would charge that much money for them so financially you know it was i was working about a pound an hour of that but i so enjoyed them and i so enjoyed the way that people uh, benefited from them and although i don't do them anymore i want to pass you on this technique that take what you've been dreaming 
time, say thank you as well in the morning. Uh, thank you for the information. Uh, and then take your form of divination that you are familiar with and that you know gives you accurate answers and ask the questions about the dream. Don't doubt the dream. I'm not saying that. But get it pinned down. Get extra things through the tarot or your pendulum or other things you may use. So that's uh, basically how to um, dream your past lives. And the extra bit, the secret tip, is then to back it up with a form of divination so that you get a far more rounded feel and look of that particular life and what the karma is and how it's affecting you now and maybe even ask well what should I do about it so add on the divinatory aspect at the end and I'll be so proud of you because I developed this technique over many many years and um, it's such a wonderful technique to do and it's such a wonderful way of giving people uh, answers to the past life stuff without them undergoing a, you know, a, a hypnosis or even, you know, being traumatised by something. So um, this is the way to do it for yourself. And remember, it's good to ask for protection. It's good to ask your guides to guide it. You know, never just go, I'm going to dream my past life, that's not going to work. There has to be a ritualisation of it, an honouring of your guides, an honouring of, say, your spirit animal, an honouring of your deity, prayer, wish, intent. And with that, plus using divination, you should have a good idea of your past life. So let me know if you try it and what you get from it. And give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And... Um, I hope that you appreciate uh, me passing on this technique and knowledge because it's been very close to my heart for many years. But I reckon since I don't do these type of reading anymore, why not pass it on to someone that might be thinking, I'd love to be able to understand past lives, but I don't quite know how to do it. Well, there you go. Many blessings now. If you'd like to support my channel, you can buy me a coffee at the link down below. Uh, or you can have a wee look at my books on Amazon. But either way, you're welcome just to be here and give me a thumbs up. So many blessings now. Many blessings and goodbye from a very muggy, hot Scotland. Bye now.